Hey guys, so I'm back with a new client tutorial. I know it's been a really long time, but I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. So as always, I've started with the eyebrows. Right now I'm just using a bit of concealer to underline the brows. And then I'm also going to use that as a base for eyeshadows. So once I've buffed in that concealer, I'm just going to lightly set it with translucent powder. First up, we're going to do a transition shade. I'm using Frappe from Makeup Geek. I wanted to use more of a neutral brown as opposed to a warm brown. I felt the neutral brown would blend more nicer into the blue and turquoise shades that we're going to use. Using MAC Nylon, I'm going to highlight underneath the brow bone. This is one of my favorite shades to use for highlighting. And then I'm also going to highlight the inner corner of the eyes. Now I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics palette. I haven't used it before. This was my first time using it. Um, I used the blue shades and to be honest they weren't very pigmented. So I spent quite a bit of time um, building up the intensity. So I was just going back and forth adding more colour, blending and then adding more colour until I was happy with the intensity. The next shade I'm using is Swallow from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. It's a really nice matte dark matte turquoise blue shade so I'm going to be placing this colour throughout the socket and lightly blending the edges. So once I was happy with the intensity I'm going to apply Inglot's gel liner in at 94. I'm going to create a halo cut crease look. Using Expensive from the Jeffree Star palette, I'm going to apply this to both sides of the gel liner as you can see in the video, leaving the center still bare. And then in the center, I'm going to use Inglot's Pigment in 317. This is from the Mamma Mia collection. So once I've done that, I'm just going to touch up the inner and outer corner of the eyes with the, um, the dark matte turquoise blue shade. Now I'm using Inglot's Liquid Liner in 25 to create a winged eyeliner. So you just want to apply a bit of mascara before applying it lashes. I'm using Dodo Lashes in the style 3, or in D307. Okay, so we're going to start on the base. I'm going to prime her skin using the Napoleon Purtis Auto Pilot Primer. Then for foundation, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've mixed two shades together. So I've applied that around the face and then I'm going to use my sponge to blend it in. This sponge is from Real Techniques. To bronze up the face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep. And I'm going to blend this down the cheekbones and around the frame of the face. For concealer, I use a mix of Tarte and NARS. So Tarte Shape Tape and NARS Radiant. Um, I went about two shades lighter so we got a nice bright under eye. Now I did set the under eyes and face with Dermablend's translucent powder. I didn't, I don't have the footage, I think I must have forgot to press the record button, but I did set the face. Okay, so now we're just going to contour the face using Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I'm just going to apply that down the cheeks and around the frame of the face and also a bit on the nose as well. And then I'm going to add a flush of colour to the cheeks. I've used Warm Soul Blush by MAC. So now I'm just sweeping away the excess powder under the eyes before highlighting the face. For highlighting, I first used Dan's Liner from Benefit. This is a really pretty highlight for pale to light skin tones. It has a really nice um, kind of pink champagne tone to it. So I've just used that first and then I added some extra glow using the Mary Luminizer from oh the Mary Luminizer highlighter from the balm. So that is pretty much the face done. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to line the waterline with Urban Decay's 24-7 um, liner in Legend. Then I'm going to smoke the same shades from the top eyelid onto the bottom lash line. And then to finish off the eyes, we're just going to apply a bit of mascara. Alright, so last but not least, we're going to do the lips. I've used a MAC Real Lip Liner to outline her lips. And then over the top, I applied Inglot's Freedom Lipstick in 505. And then topped it off with the L'Oreal Infallible Gloss in Pretty Precious. So this is my final look. I kind of just fluked this look, to be honest. But I'm obsessed with how it turned out. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please show some love down in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.